In today's episode, we are going to review the best podcast interview software to record remotely in 2021 and beyond. Welcome to Podcasting Q&A, where we learn the best tips and strategies to launch, grow, and monetize your show. In today's episode, we are discussing podcast interview recording software. With the rise of working from home, podcasting also felt that change and adapted. Many of our podcast interviews switched from in-person to virtual really quick. And there are so many options for software when it comes to recording remotely. So in today's episode, we're going to focus on our top three recommendations for recording your podcasts remotely. So after the year that we had in 2020, most of us are super familiar with Zoom. So Zoom is our first recommendation. It is super budget friendly. There's a free subscription plan that gives you about 30 to 45 minutes of recording time between two people or more. It allows you to record audio as well as video right within the app onto your computer. And if you're super savvy, you can go in and ask it to record separate audio tracks. This is helpful for when you're recording and then editing because if someone does something sneezes on their microphone while you're talking, you can go in and just cut that little piece out and you don't even miss a beat. Super helpful. We know that Skype is also a forerunner when it comes to budget-friendly and free recording software, but given its audio and video quality, we really feel that Skype is probably better used for informal conversations between you and like an aunt. So if you're trying to decide between Skype and Zoom, we definitely recommend that you go with Zoom all day long. Next up is Riverside. We really like Riverside because it provides high quality audio as well as video. Riverside allows you to record up to eight people at a time, which, you know, time out for a second. Who are you people recording with eight people on, a, on microphones? That's so many, four more than you need truly. But you know, it's nice to know that if you wanna have a party and make it a podcast, you can do that. And Riverside allows you to do that. It also boasts some really cool features like calling in, integration with social media so that you can do your live streams and it'll push it right out to platforms like YouTube and Facebook. It can be a little bit quirky on the video side. The audio is always really great, but when it works, it's a beautiful thing. So you can get five hours of audio as well as video recording for $19 a month with Riverside. And our third option is Squadcast. We love Squadcast. Squadcast has consistently great audio and video. They allow you to record up to four people, and they also have some really awesome features like green rooms. Um, they allow you to record your audio in separate tracks as well, and they're regularly updating their software, which we love. Squadcast offers a package of five hours of audio recording for $20 a month, and if you do their audio and video package, that's $40 a month. So now that we've talked through our top three recommendations, which one should you choose? Great question. So if you are just now starting out, kind of considering this audio video thing, Zoom is probably a better fit for you. As you are exploring it, seeing if you're gonna to commit to putting out the audio as well as the video, it's a really low budget, kind of low risk way to get into it and try it out. If you are committed to YouTube, you've got followers, you've got the channel, you are getting after it and doing this thing, you're gonna to wanna to invest in solid audio and video quality. And for that, we really do recommend Squadcast as they have proven to give us amazing Using audio and video quality consistently. But if you're not so concerned about the video and you're really more committed to the audio element of your podcast, Riverside or Squadcast would be great options to choose from. You can pick either one of those and you wouldn't go wrong at all. Now, if you're gonna go with Zoom, you're definitely going to wanna check out the video that Travis and Albin did about the best settings for recording in Zoom. Check that out in the link in the description below or to my left. And as always, thanks for listening and keep podcasting.